Hello, hello everyone, Pamela Spivey with Spivey Daniel Real Estate Group. And today we're gonna to be discussing um, USDA Down Payment Resource Program. We have Mary Lou Edwards with Mason McDuffie Mortgage Group, and she's gonna be giving us the highlights of the program. Mary Lou. Thank you, Pamela. So the USDA stands for the United States Department of Agriculture. And basically, they guarantee loans that go through the USDA program. And the way to qualify for a USDA program is the zoning of the property has to be either agricultural or rural or suburban. And if you go to the website for the USDA eligibility website, you'll see exactly what neighborhoods are covered by the USDA program. And other highlights of the program is there are income restrictions and typically it is for a household of one to four members, it's $91,900 annual income. And if you're a household of uh, up to eight people, from five to eight people, the income is $121,300. And if you are in the Bay Area, which um, is the higher income bracket, then the income goes higher and it's $159,700 for a household of up to four. So meaning husband, wife, and two kids, or whatever the variety is. What? And then um, for a household of five to eight, the income is $210,800. So a lot of people could actually qualify for this program. You do need a 660 credit score and your maximum debt to income ratio can only be as high as 45% of gross monthly income. There's also a 2% guarantee fee that can be added to the loan. So since this is a 0% down payment program where there is no down payment, that 2% guarantee fee can be added to the 100% financing, leaving it at 102% financing. And also, the seller can also cover up to 6% of the sales price to cover most of the closing costs. Okay. You really don't need to combine it with anything else because between that and the closing costs, possibly from the um, seller, what if the seller doesn't want to give a credit? Can you get, like, can you combine two different programs with this? Program, yes. you know? You can, so there are three ways. So you can combine it with First, you can uh, offer a higher rate and the lender can give you a credit for most of the closing costs and we could cover again up to 6% also. Um, but of course the rate's gonna be much higher. Um, and also there are a couple other programs such as Cal CalHAFA, which is California Housing Finance Authority. And that's only for first time home buyers um, and they'll cover up to 5% of the, um, the sales price. Um, so that, all right, so you have to deduct the guarantee fee, which is 2%, so the max is 3%, which should cover most of the closing costs, depending on the purchase price. Right, right. And that interest rate is only 1% simple interest deferred for the life of the loan. So it would only have to be paid back when you sell or refinance, so it is actually a loan. Oh. And then the other program that we can combine with it is called GSFA which is the Golden State Finance Authority. And again, it's the same thing, the 3%. Okay. Um, but it, this one is a grant um, and it will be granted to you after you live in the property for three years or more. Okay. And this interest rate though is four and an eight right now if you take the maximum. Oh, okay. Okay, well, great. Well, that's really good information. So um, if anyone has any additional questions, they can contact Mary Lou and she can give you a little bit more information. But thank you so much for sharing that with us. Okay, you guys. Thank you.